Welcome to the Mechanical Engineer. In the previous video, we have found out the deflection of a simply supported beam that is carrying a uniformly distributed load using Rayleigh Ritz method. In this video, we are going to find out the deflection of a beam that is carrying a point load at the center. Okay. If we are going to use the Rayleigh Ritz method, we know that as per the Rayleigh Ritz method, the pi is equal to u minus h, and we know the u is the internal energy and H is the work done. And this U depends on the object. So for a beam, the internal or strain energy U is equal to Ea divided by 2 integral of 0 to L d square y divided by dx square the whole square into dx. So, this is the formula for calculating u and the h depends on the nature of load and for a point load, the h equation is h is equal to p into y at the location of the load application. Okay, fine. So, the calculation of internal energy procedure is going to be same. So, first I am going to choose the trial solution. So, for a simply supported beam, as we discussed like in the previous video, we can directly choose the trigonometric trial solution and for simply supported beam, we can directly go with A sin pi x by L. So, and we don't need to verify the boundary conditions because the boundary condition will definitely be suitable. So, I'm choosing y is equal to A sin pi x by L. So, I'm calculating dy by dx next. If I integrate, I mean, if I differentiate the sin data, then I'll get cos data. So, I'll get a cos pi x by L into pi by L. Further, d square y by dx square is equal to A pi square by L square because already there is pi by L and sin pi x by L and the direction is negative. Now, let me substitute this in the internal energy equation. So, U is equal to Ea divided by 2 integral of 0 to L minus of A pi square divided by L square sin pi x by L the whole square into dx. So, we cannot uh, integrate uh, by using square. So, I am multiplying the square inside. So, I am taking A by 2 0 to L A square because the minus will get cancelled pi power 4 divided by L power 4 sin square pi x by L into dx. Now, we know that the sin square data is equal to 1 minus cos 2 data divided by 2. So, I am going to change this. So, I am writing it as Ei divided by 2. I am taking the constant outside. So, A square pi power 4 divided by L power 4 integral of 0 to L 1 minus cos 2 pi x by L divided by 2 will be there. I am taking it to outside dx. Okay. Now, let us integrate this. So, I will get A A square pi power 4 divided by 4 L power 4. If I integrate 1, I will get uh, x. So, the upper limit is 0 and lower limit is L then minus if I integrate cos 2 pi x by L I will get sin 2 pi x by L into L by 2 pi limits from 0 to L. So now, now let us substitute the limits I will get A A square pi power 4 divided by 4 L power 4 and here I am substituting the upper limit, this L, minus, if I substitute L, then I will get sin 2 pi L by L into L by 2 pi. And if I substitute the lower limit 0, then I will get sin 0. Okay. We know that LL will get cancelled and uh, sin, sorry, LL will get cancelled and uh, sin 2 pi is equal to 
0. Similarly, sin 0 is also equal to 0. So, I'll get the final u value as u is equal to e i a square pi power 4 divided by 4 l cube because l l will get cancelled. So, this is the equation for u. Now, for calculating the work done, we know that the equation for work done is equal to h is equal to p into y at load. Okay. So, we know that y is equal to a sin pi x by l and at load x is equal to l by 2 because the load is acting at the center. So, I am substituting x is equal to l by 2. So, I will get a sin pi l by 2l. L l will get cancelled and sin pi by 2 is 1. So, the value for y at load is a. Now, h is equal to p into a. So, this is the equation for h. Now, the general equation is pi is equal to u minus h. That is equal to u is e i a square pi power 4 divided by 4 l cube minus h is p into a. So, there is only one constant here. So, I am going with dou pi by dou a is equal to 0. So, dou pi by dou a is equal to, so I am going to integrate this equation with respect to a. So, here we have a square. So, if I integrate with respect to a, I will get 2a. Here I have a, I will get a value of 1. So, it is e i 2 a pi power 4 divided by 4 l cube minus p is equal to 0. So, I am taking p to the right side. I will get e i 2 a pi power 4 divided by 4 l cube is equal to p. So, I can cancel 2. So, my objective is to find out the value of a. So, I am keeping the a left side and bringing all the remaining terms to the right side. I will get a is equal to p l cube divided by e i pi power 4 and we have a 2 here. So, a is equal to 2 p l cube divided by e i pi power 4. Now, let me substitute in the trial solution. y is equal to a sin pi x by l that is equal to 2 p l cube divided by e i pi power 4 sin pi x by l. So, this is the equation for calculating the deflection at any point. If we want to calculate the deflection at the center, we know that at the center, x is equal to l by 2. And if I substitute x is equal to l by 2, then I will get sin pi l by 2l will be there. So, l l will get cancelled and I will get sin pi by 2. That is equal to 1. So, my final answer will be y is equal to 2p l cube divided by e i pi power 4. So, this is y at x is equal to l by 2. So, first step we have to calculate the internal energy h u. Next, we have to calculate the work done h. So, this is the equation for simply supported beam. So, you can remember this equation and this is for a point load. Okay. So, for simply supported beam, you can always choose y is equal to a sin pi x by l. You can substitute the values in the equations. Finally, as there is only one constant, I have used dou pi by dou a is equal to 0 and I have found out the value of a. So, after founding the value of a, I have substituted in the trial solution and at the center x is equal to l by 2. So, sin pi by 2 will be equal to 1. So, I will get y at center is equal to 2p l cube divided by e a pi power 4. Thank you.